Hey y'all, it is Andrea here at VW Family Farm. Welcome back. It is a beautiful day. We're outside. Ben's here with me. He is down there crawling around. Getting dirty. <laughs> Getting dirty. We are about to get some things planted. I'm just going to be completely honest with you guys. I, I always try to be, but I messed up. I'm just going to say it. I messed up. What did I do wrong, Ben? I honestly don't know that you did anything wrong. It was probably me. Oh. Huh? Really? Yeah. Wow. You hadn't heard that yet. I right? have not. Yeah. I've right. been taking responsibility for this. Well, the onions. Are we talking the onions? The onions. Okay, yeah. I've probably gotten way too big a hurry. Ordered them too soon. So I really, that's kind of is what I think happened too. We ordered them too soon and then they sat here and y'all saw when I planted them. Um, you can go back and watch that video. It's a few videos ago. We were gardening and they had just gotten too big and I really should have like topped them, like cut the tops off, waited a day or two and then tried to plant them, but I didn't. And uh, my life is really crazy right now and I planted them and there is literally, well, let's just look. There's a few down through there, but literally a few. So what we are doing is we're making do this year. We have a lot of things going on, a very busy life right now. Um, as a lot of you know that follow me on Facebook and different places, my dad is very ill. Uh, we are making it. Thank you all for your support and prayers and just for reaching out to us. But it's, it's my life right now and it's what I need to be doing is taking care of him and my mom. But that means gardening is kind of just having to be what it is. So we are going to plant some onions that we just really just bought at our local supermarket. We're gonna plant those, get them back in the ground. We're trying, aren't we, Ben? I just hope they're as good as our Dixondale onions always have been. Yeah. They, uh, we've had really good luck from Dixondale and I feel terrible. I will not order them so soon next year. One thing I will say though, is if you buy them from your local store or supermarket or whatever, they are selected by, um, based on what will grow good in your area. So that there is that, that's good. You don't have to put the research in and stuff cause they've already done that. Um, it's probably a little bit different than what we would have grown. But one thing Ben is doing and then we're gonna get planting. So Ben is using, you wanna hold that up? That is actually from Dixondale. It's called Feed and Weed. Um, so it's gonna help. We're putting it in the hole before we plant these new onions. And I bought a couple of herbs that are going in some of these holes. And then I wanna show you one more thing we're gonna do. And I actually just got a phone call and I have to go take care of my dad right now, actually. So Ben is gonna finish this job up and I'm gonna go take care of what I need to. And uh, one thing I have that I've been wanting to show you guys, I kinda just, sometimes have big dreams and goals that sometimes don't come to pass and that's kind of what this little project was but it turned out okay and that's the beauty of what i want to show you and that is this green stalk you know last year that i put i filled this thing with strawberries well i had visions that over the winter i was going to clean them up and they sell like a frost blanket you can zip up around it i was going to get one of those i might even was going to move it in the greenhouse whatever well life happened and i literally did nothing to this this has set out ever since then and um i just want you guys to look obviously it needs to be cleaned up this is all dead material but look at this new growth so you can see a couple places. Now this could sprout down in there and go ahead and put on a new green plant, but I actually got some more strawberries. I'm gonna fill in these holes. There's probably only six of them. There's new growth in most of these holes. So I didn't even water this green stalk in the winter. I, it's one of those things literally that fell by the wayside and it has done great. I would say 75% of these are still here and I did no effort. So I think with a little effort, um, this could really, really be a great thing for strawberries because they're so grassy and they're hard to keep um, the weeds out of and things like that. Strawberries can be a big problem, but they're so delicious and they grow so well here. Uh, we're in zone 7B. But um, I did want to mention that, that I gave no effort and this still did what I would call fantastic. So Ben is going to get some uh, planted in these empty holes, get that going for the year, give them a drink, get the onions planted and the herbs and 
just spend a nice day outside. Okay, so either I wasn't listening or she left out of here too quick. I don't exactly know what she said to do over here with the strawberries. All I know is they are in dire need of some help. I need to get all this dead trimmed off of there. If you look down here, there's a lot of them. Got down and rooted in my rocks. Stepped on a few. I'm going to try to get that them dug up that cleaned up but i'm not going to bore you with all that so i'm going to set the camera down turn it off and get to trimming clipping and getting this cleaned up for her i'm going to see if i can use my little garden hoe i forged that been a couple years ago but i made that for her kind of proud of it Well, sun is all, well, no, it's all the way down. Well, hey, 10 minutes of work, maybe 15. Got it looking prettier. Did not even use a strawberry plant that she bought. I dug them all out of the ground here. They rooted themselves. They replaced the ones that had died. Now she's got strawberry plants all the way up and down. And even on the back side. All right. Well, sun's going down. That means it's time for me to go in the house, wrap this up. If y'all would, please play for Andrea, her mom, her brother, her dad, all this. Um, really tough time right now for us. So uh, just please keep us in your prayers. Thank y'all for watching. And until next time, God bless.